Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 22nd of August 2018 and the time is just gone 10.05 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And if you take a look at a daily chart uh, on a fairly long term basis, we can see uh, that essentially since, since the start of the year, uh, the Australian dollar has been in decline versus the US dollar. It's been a classic example of a downward trend, a series of higher highs, sorry, lower lows and lower highs all the way down. In fact, it was only this, this day last week, the Aussie dollar fell to its lowest level uh, not seen since January 2017. So giving an indication of how bearish uh, the recent downward trend has been in. And if the wider um, downward trend of the Australian dollar versus the US dollar has been in the last number, the last number of months, what we could see is we could see the zero spot 72.50 area being retested, uh, being retested, uh, and move below last week's low of zero spot 72.20 could be an indication for further losses. And should we go south of that level, we could be heading back down towards zero spot 71.60, a level not seen since December 2016. It is worth pointing out, though, uh, that the market has had a bit of a bounce back. Anytime a, uh, a market's in, in a downward trend, you you will see uh, bounce backs uh, from time to time. And if you're a trader, what you have to actually to determine is whether this is just a bounce back which fits in with the wider downward trend, or whether this actually the market is actually in the process of turning itself around. So if we take a, if you, if you zoom in and look at the price action in, in recent weeks. Uh, we can be taking a look at this candle here on Wednesday, the 15th of August. We can see that that, that was the date that the market uh, printed its lowest level in over 18 months. But at the same time, we also see quite a long wick. So this this thin line here on the candle is the wick of, is, is known as the wick of the candle, uh, and this and, and the body is, is the body of the candle. As, as we can see here, the wick is far greater uh, in size than the body, which would suggest that is, there's a bit of indecision. Um, and as you, as, you, as you now know, the market then managed to kind of push higher for, for a few sessions after that. So traders need to determine, is this a bounce back in the wider downward trend or is it the sign of, of a turnaround in the market? Taking a look at the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see that as the market was, was, uh, was in decline, there was a steady increase in negative momentum. Uh, and, that, uh, and since last Wednesday, the market has been pushing higher. There's been a steady decline in negative momentum. And in fact, the momentum has actually turned positive. So, so as the market is pushing higher, we're now seeing an increase of buying pressure. So over the time being, the pressure in the near term is with the buyers. And another to keep on that for will be this blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes to play at a zero spot 73.83. Uh, notice how on uh, at least one occasion recently and on a couple of occasions it came close. It acted as, as a resistance uh, in, the not too dis in the not too distant past. And if it has acted as resistance in the not too distant past, it's, there's a good possibility it could do so again in the future. And if you do manage to kind of push on higher from beyond the 50 moving average, another to keep an eye out for will be this yellow line here at the 100 moving average, which comes into play at zero spot 40, zero, zero spot 74.90. And notice how the 100 moving average back in April uh, did manage to act as um, as resistant uh, in, in, in back then as well. So if it was significant back then, it makes it all the more likely it could be significant again in the future. Also, the, the, the price area of, of, um, of, it, of what is that is also significant. Zero spot 7490 is in around the zero spot 75 handle, which as you can see here back in, uh, back in, in May, there was a lot of consolidation in around that area. If you do manage to head north of the zero spot 75 area, that could be a sign that we're actually in for, a, for the market to push higher. And if we go beyond zero spot, 70, zero spot 75, we could be heading up toward this red line here, the truly moving average at zero spot 76.34. Once again, notice how it actually managed to act as resistance uh, back in, in April also. So there are the levels of keep an eye forward to the upside should the, uh, should the near term bounce back actually be extended and actually have the potential to actually to carry on to be a, more, a, a wider turnaround in the market. Now, if you are trading the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, it is worth noting that today um, the US and, 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 and Chinese governments are going to discuss trade talks. That could obviously have an impact on the Aussie dollar, see, given the amount of trade that China does with, with, um, with Australia. It's also worth remembering that, that the US dollar has had a negative run in the past few sessions, and later today, uh, that the Federal Reserve will announce the minutes from the latest meeting. So traders are, are expecting an optimistic uh, Fed update and, and there's a possibility we could have rate rise from the Fed both in September and December this year. Well, that's all for me this, this week. Thank you very much.